welcome to episode 48 of the Nifty Knitting Ninja podcast. I am your host, Abigail Taylor. And if you're new to the podcast, thanks so much for joining me today. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Um, I am so sorry if the lighting is weird. I want to say that first off. It keeps changing. It was really nice and sunny this morning, and then it got kind of... A little bit gray and then the sun's trying to come back out so it keeps peeking in and out of the clouds so I'm so sorry if the lighting is messed up again I have really bad lighting in my house <laughs> so um, yeah that's uh, sorry there's nothing I can really do about it um, but yeah I have missed everybody so much I have really been wanting to talk to you guys really been wanting to podcast again uh, I just haven't because I've been going through some life stuff, just trying to get my life in order and figure stuff out. Um, so I just haven't had the opportunity, but I have really missed talking to everybody. Um, and I've made a load of things. That was not the whole reason, but part of the reason why I didn't podcast for so long. Um, and I hope that you can't hear that. My neighbor upstairs uh, is walking on his floor, which is my ceiling. So uh, you can hear everything. So I'm sorry, I hope you can't hear that. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys what I've been up to. I've been going crazy with the baby knits. I'm gonna say that first off. And I have a whole bunch of finished baby knits. I'm gonna start off by showing you what I showed on last podcast. This is a blanket that I've made. It's a 32 inch by 32 inch and it's just uh, it's made in a double moss stitch. So sorry my monitor is going dark and I really don't want it to. So it's uh, it's got a really nice texture. It's made out of um, Bernat Super Soft I think. It's a, it's a Chanel yarn but yeah anyways that's been done for a while and oh it's so nice and squishy and I can't wait until winter when my baby can actually use it. Um, for those of you who don't know, I got married back in October, the beginning of October, and towards the end of October we found out that we were expecting. So um, yeah, I will be 18 weeks tomorrow, four and a half months pregnant and we are so excited. In a couple of weeks, we are going to find out the gender. So, super exciting stuff going on. So, there's that blanket, and I'm just gonna put it behind me. Sorry, there's like a pile of stuff over here. Um, and the other thing that you guys have already seen, which has not been blocked, I'm so bad at blocking stuff. Mainly because I have a cat in the house that will play with anything and everything, so I'm kind of scared to block it till I can clear out the spare room and get it uh, in a safe spot. So this is my little newborn vertebrae. And it's made out of self-striping yarn. And I believe that I made this on size twos. And the ribbing was twos, the body was three. I can't remember the yarn that I used in it. I'm such a bad broadcaster, I know. Alrighty, and the next thing, this is toddler sized. This is a, uh, this is a barley hat by 10 Cam Knits. I just omitted the um, garter stitch section in there, but I put a bright fluffy pom pom on it. And it's got like these little nooks in it. It's got, uh, it was a yarn from Hobby Lobby. And that color is totally blowing out. That's a little more accurate. Um, it's a yarn from Hobby Lobby and it's got wool, silk, and bamboo in it, I think. So um, that's really nice. And if you're saying, yeah, this looks a little girly for not knowing the gender, honestly, I don't care because a lot of people are having babies right now. And if I end up having a boy, I'll just find someone with a little girl that will enjoy this instead. Or I will donate it to the Pregnancy Help Center because they are a great organization and I really, um, I really want to give back to them. 
Alrighty, and next up, this is a flax uh, pullover by Tinky and Knits as well. It's a free pattern. And again, I just omitted the garter edging on the sleeves. This has not been blocked either, <laughs> so it's a little unfinished. I really want to get you get a good color representation here because this is my um, this is my hand dyed yarn from my yarn company, the Psychedelic Sheep, and this is my after the storm colorway. As you can see, it's on a tonal gray base with rainbow speckles going through it, and I think that this sweater just turned out perfect. And whether I have a boy or a girl, I think it's suited to both. So I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. And I also made a matching hat, because how could I not? <laughs> this, again, is the barley hat in a smaller size, and I just omitted the garter again. Um, I believe this is the three to six month size, and so is the sweater. Because, um... My baby being due in July, uh, won't be able to wear a whole lot of hand knits or warmer clothing until they're about three to six months old, so that's kind of where I'm going with all the warm clothing. I also, these don't have ends woven, so obviously they're not finished, 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 but they're finished, they're knit and bound off. I made, and you can't even see the shape very well, oh my goodness. Well, I'll post the link to the pattern. This is the leaf washcloth, and I'm sorry, I don't know who it's by. But, um, I had a ball of peaches and cream cotton, and I just knit it up. And you can't really see it on camera. But this green up here, there's flecks of it in the white and flecks of it in the blue, which kind of ties it all together. So there's one. There's two. And there's three. And yes, I probably will block these just because I want to see the nice leaf shape. <laughs> I know they're washcloths and they don't need to be blocked, but I'm going to block them anyway, even though they're for my baby. All right, and last but not least, what I've been up to. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen these. I knit these from a sock blank. Uh, it was the Dreamcatcher sock blank from Victoria House Fibers. And I actually started these on our honeymoon and recently finished them. And uh, I only thought it was appropriate that um, we brought our baby back on our from our honeymoon. <laughs> How cute are those guys? Like, for real. They match my socks. <laughs> so now I can have mommy and me socks. So, <laughs> that makes me way more happier than it should, but you know what? You gotta be happy about something in life, am I right? So, yeah, I'll show those again just because they're so cute. Mm. So cute. And, um, that's not all the finished objects that I have. Sorry if I'm looking down here, my computer is on the bed. That's not all the finished objects that I have, but that's all the knitted finished objects that I have. So I'm going to go on to knitted whips. I know I'm moving through this kind of fast. I have a lot to do today, um, which I'll get in here in just a little bit. I have been working on a pair of socks just because it's kind of mindless. These socks should be finished. I just have to graft the toe, guys. Like, it's ridiculous. And this is a uh, Leading Man Fiber Arts Mini for the toe. And this stripey right here, you guys probably realize as Knit Picks Felici. 
and this is the dark side colorway and you guys can't really see it but that little gray stripe right there that's my waist yarn because I'm gonna put in it after that heel mainly because I just couldn't decide what color and I don't have enough of the toe color to put in for the heel so I'm gonna have to think about that but yeah that's the first one just got to put in a heel and grab the toe it's sad I know that's what I've been working on I've also been working on my Cozy Memories blanket again, but I've only done a square and a half, which wasn't enough to show you guys, so I thought that I'd just leave it until next time. Um, okay, but well, that's essentially all the knitting. Sorry if I disappointed you guys for being gone so long and not having more knitting, but uh, I'm, I have to adult instead of knit. That's all it comes down to. And as far as other finished objects, which I still need to finish, finish, finish so that I can frame, frame it and hang it, I did some stitching. Don't look too close because there's a lot of mistakes. But yep, this is for us. Our last name is Taylor. That's the date that we got married. And yeah. It's cross stitch and back stitch, which I stitched all myself. And I'm gonna hang it up somewhere here in our house because I think it's very sweet. Um, okay. Well, that's pretty much it for the crafting content. I'm gonna move on to a little bit of shop talk and then I'm gonna move on to what's been going on in my life lately, should you care to stick around. Um, I feel like I just stole that from Kristen of Wool and Wine, uh, which I probably shouldn't. But uh, yeah, if you're not interested in shop talk or life talk, bye, and I hope that I will see you next time. Okay, for those of you who do want to stick around, I have a lot of yarn sitting over here, so get ready. So for those of you who also don't know, I own my own yarn company, The Psychedelic Sheep. If you go to Etsy and type in The Psychedelic Sheep, um, then you will find my shop. And I sell hand-dyed yarns, mainly. Well, that is what I sell. Um, but yeah, we I have been working hard and we've got a lot of new things in there. Some of these I'm not sure if I showed on the last podcast, so I'm just going to show them again. Oh, sorry. Lots of yarn. Okay. So, I'm going to start out with saying I, I got a new base. I got a new base to put in the shop and it's a little more pricey because it's pricey for me to get. Guys, it's so worth it. It is so, so squishy and just so next to skin soft. You could probably make a hat or a cowl with this and it would be just luscious. Um, so this is a new base. It's a bulky, super bulky two ply that I'm calling my heavy hippie base. It's 87 yards. I believe it's 70% wool, 30% alpaca, which is what makes it so smudgy and soft. Um, but this colorway is a fairly new one. It is called, it is called a uh, cozy apple cider. It's a deep red with brown speckles. And I'm just going to go through all the heavy hippie base first. I'm going to do this by bases, really. Um, except for my new colorway that I have to show you. This is again on heavy hippie. This is my snowflake colorway. And we also have heavy hippie on snow cardinal. So if you guys, if that tickles your fancy, head on over to the shop and grab some. Oh, by the way, to celebrate my birthday week, which my 24th birthday is tomorrow, yay me, um, to celebrate my birthday week from February 1st to February 8th of 2019, if you type in the code birthday20 in my Etsy shop at checkout, you will get 20% off your entire order. It is a one-time use, so if you're going to use it, make sure that you've grabbed all your goodies before you type in that code because you can't use it again. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would be nice to 
share the celebration with you guys uh, because it's my birthday week. And I'm also, like I said, this is my, uh, I'm just plowing right through it, aren't I? No segue there. This is my um, Cozy Apple Cider colorway on my Gnarly Base, which is my 7525 Merino Nylon. And I also, well, I guess we're moving on to some newer colorways, some colorways that you guys have never seen before. And all of these new colorways I'm showing will be popped into the shop tomorrow as soon as I wake up, which is probably going to be about 6.30 Central Standard Time, uh, because that's when my husband gets up to go to work, and that's whenever I first wake up. And then I go back to sleep. <laughs> so these will be posted about 6.30 CST tomorrow. 6.30 a.m. This one is super fun. It's called Hello Grillo. And you can see it's a half and half skein. And in the yellow there's gray speckles and in the gray there is yellow speckles. So I thought that was kind of fun. That's Hello Grillo. This is on my gnarly base. This also on my gnarly base. I wonder how that happened. It wasn't supposed to happen. Um, this is Baby T. I create, yes, I created a special colorway for my little one growing inside. Sorry about that. I, um, because of the pregnancy, I belched on camera and I didn't think that you guys wanted to hear that. So I had to cut it out. But what I was saying is, this is a brand new colorway called Baby T. I made it in honor of my little rainbow baby growing inside of me. And it is a, well, it's actually getting blown out a little bit. Let's hold it back here. Mm, showing up more minty. It's like a dark minty green with speckles of pink, blue, green, and yellow. So that's baby T on my gnarly base. And here is baby T on my stardust base, which is a 75 merino wool, 20% nylon, 5% stellina. So yeah, there's baby T there. And then this one is super, super fun. Oh yeah, magical unicorn mane. It is just this bright, shocking purple that's kind of tonal, and in the tonal spots, there's some bright, like, fuchsia pink. Oh my goodness. And it's sparkly. It's on my Stardust base. Look, look, look. I don't know if you guys can see that sparkle or not. Oh yeah. It's much more sparkly in person, but it, um, this is Magical Unicorn Mane, which I think is fabulous. Okay. So, I have a brand new colorway, and it's what I call a dream skein, and am I the only one who dreams about yarn? Like, I will have dreams about new colorways, and it'll give me exact details, it'll say, this is the colors you're going to put on, this is what it's going to look like, this is what you're going to name it, and it's going to be on this base. Like, I have dreams like that, and I'm like, holy cow, so I have to... It, so I wake up and I have to write it down because I'm like, that could be an awesome colorway. And boy, was I right. I'm glad that I wrote it down and I listened last time I dreamt about it. I know this sounds really weird, right? <laughs> but this, oh yeah, this is Mermaid Tales. This is the result of one of those said dreams. Oh. Look at that. It is on a neutral base, and this particular base is my far out base. This is my DK base. And it's got speckles of chartreuse and salmon and bright purple and turquoise. So it's just got really fine speckles of all those colors. Super, super fun. This is Mermaid Tails. I'm far out. I also have mermaid tails, and please excuse the sloppy scanning. I'm not sure what happened there. 
Uh, this is how it looks on Stardust. That's Mermaid Tales on Stardust. And I also have, which looks a little different. This is Mermaid Tales on Heavy Hippie Base. Guys. Oh my gosh, can you see a hat being made out of this? Because I can. Oh yeah. So that is all of the new things that are going to hit the shop tomorrow morning. And uh, like I said, don't forget that coupon code, BIRTHDAY20, at checkout. It'll give you 20% off your order. It's a one-time use. Um, but it is going on from February 1st to February 8th. So if there's something that you saw that you liked or something you've had your eye on, go for it. Because you, I don't offer 20% very often. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And I'm going to move on to life stuff. So what's been happening in my life lately, um, like I mentioned, my little one's due in July and I'm four and a half pregnant, four and a half months pregnant as of tomorrow. I'll be 18 weeks. Um, it'll be my baby's 18 week birthday and my 24 year birthday. So that's kind of special that we share a milestone together. Um, and yeah, it's, uh. I give you a bump date, and I'm gonna try, but I'm on the bed, so I don't know. So this is how, what the bump looks like currently. So uh, there's your bump date, and uh, my mom thinks that I'm really big for being four and a half months, so she thinks there's twins in there, and I guess we'll find out in a couple weeks at our next ultrasound. Fingers crossed. I'm having just one. I would really love just one. But if I get double the fun, then that's okay, too. Um, but no, like I said, I'm just uh, trying to get my life together. I was away for a couple weeks. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry for anybody listening on headphones. I'm probably not cutting that out. Um, I was gone for a couple of weeks and, you know, just trying to figure some stuff out, trying to get my life straightened out. And so now I'm back and just enjoying time with my husband and again figuring out life just working it out um and yeah life i'm not gonna lie and say that life hasn't been kind of a pain in the butt lately because it has but um it's getting better it's definitely getting better um, and like I also mentioned earlier, I've got a lot to do today, so I don't even know if this podcast is going up today. I will try my best. Um, it's actually, it's 1.30, and so I need to get my butt in gear and get into town. I woke up kind of late this morning. Um, my husband had a really bad night. He woke up at 3.30, um, kind of... Uh, was having a hard time of it, having a hard time going back to bed. So I got up with him and I kind of calmed him down and got him to go back to sleep. Um, but I was up for uh, probably an hour or an hour and a half with him. Um, and, you know, he's an adult. He could do that himself. But I think part of a good marriage is taking care of each other when you need it. It doesn't matter what time it is or what day it is. Just be there when they need you. Um, and he just needed me at 3.30 this morning, so that's okay. I'm not complaining. I just woke up a little later. But, um, yeah, I got my chores done today. Got a lot of things done today. Got up a new blog post, um, which you can find all these show notes at. And I will put a link to that down below. And, yeah, I've got to run into town. i got to pick up a couple birthday gifts. It's my husband's niece niece's birthday tonight and she's turning three her birthday's the day before mine so I think that's really special um so yeah we're gonna go celebrate with them tonight um I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be in town hopefully I'll get back in time to edit this and pop it up on YouTube for you guys but no guarantees it might be up tomorrow February 1st um if that happens I'm not gonna pressure myself to get it done tonight obviously I'll be pretty tired um 
but yeah, I, I've got a quite a bit to do, which is why I guess that I should probably quit talking <laughs> and go do it. But um, yeah, it was so nice just sitting here for a while and chatting with you guys and getting all caught up and and everything. And if you guys would like to stay caught up, even when I'm not podcasting, uh, I did change my name on Instagram. It's now Lil Taylor Wife, which I will put here at the bottom of the screen. Um, you can find me on Twitter as the Nutty Ninja. You can find me on Facebook as the Psychedelic Sheep. You can find me, um, like I said, you can find all of these episodes over at my blog, which is Little Taylor Wife Life. Um, and I, again, I'll post a link to that below. But yeah, that's pretty much where you can find me on Ravelry. I'm I'm a Knitting Ninja, and we also have a podcast group over there called the Nifty Knitting Ninja Podcast um, group, if you search it in the groups tab. Not very active over there, trying to be more active. It's hard, guys. It's hard. Like I said, adulting. Unfortunately, it comes first. Um, but yeah, that being said, I will let you guys go, and until next time, happy knitting and enjoy your week.